the business club on TGM Radio UK. Wazimbe bizimbe byo na yego lemeddo biganyo lwamu okugeza obulitwa bapangisa obobolina balwa okusasula katino kankwanjulira KPG company malawe bibyo na kitufu kati emyaka jiweze 10 no musobyo nga Uganda ekula kulana na mayumba ne bizimbe byo mulembe na yenge kitufu wetaga KPG ekufunira bapangisa ebakusololeze no kula bidi ne bizimbe byo bisigale ku mulembe atenge enkolagana ya KPG ne landlord esoboka chokanga teka rubiriza mupangisa tusangi bwanti ndakali na abiri kuwa mara road block 2.14 KPG property first come We'll sort that out. Yes. Welcome, welcome, one and all. It's uh, the Business Club, TGM Radio UK. As promised on Mondays, we bring you the Business Club, a program where we share business ideas. We encourage people to do and enter business to uplift themselves, uplift their community. And it's myself, Ivan, in the studio alongside a couple of guests, uh, some guests from Uganda, some guests from the UK. Uh, tonight, tonight we have uh, Mr. Ibrahim Bogere and uh, Grace representing KPG. KPG is uh, a company from Uganda dealing with properties. But I'll let the guests introduce themselves or say more about the company. Uh, first of all, Mr. Ibrahim, you're welcome to TGM Radio UK. Uh, Ivan, thank you very much for the opportunity to host us today. Uh, as introduced, um, Ibrahim Karim Wagere. I'm the group chairman and founding partner of KS Property Governance Trading as KPG. Uh, well, KPG, uh, we're into real estate management. We're trying to help Ugandans, majorly in the diaspora, to ensure that they maximize uh, their returns on investment back home by offering premium property management services that includes uh, rent collections, uh, advisory on land acquisition, building, completing, and you know management. That's why uh, we are here today to ensure that Ugandans living in the UK can get an opportunity to connect with the real expert from Uganda to ensure that their services are handed. Thank you very much. And uh, Grace. Yes, I've. Uh, How are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you. How are you? Oh, very well, thanks. And you are. I am a brand ambassador for KPG. Okay. So I am the diaspora brand ambassador. Okay, and, and, and what, what do you do as a brand ambassador? Uh, well, mainly I make product awareness. So basically I, I am trying to make KPG reach its poten full potential by making, it, making a brand awareness in the UK. I think you, we saw on... Um, the convention. I'm sure you was there yourself. I was there, yes. And I was going to go there. <laughs> how, how did it go? It was fantastic. It was great. Uh, we had a very good response, which comes to show that this service that KPG provides is very well needed in the UK, in our Ugandan community. Mm. And all those that have investments back home in Uganda. All right. Yeah. So, um, Mr. Ibrahim Bogay, Group Chairman. And founding founding partner. mem pa founding partner, yeah. how, how long has uh, KPG been in operation? Uh, well, uh, that's a very very good question. However, uh, I will approach it in a different angle. Mm -hmm. The most important in this is to real how experienced you are in the business. Right, that is very important. But to be on record, KPG came in play in two thousand ten. That was when we first put our foot in the real estate sector and it was incorporated three years ago. Okay. We had a background in property management right from Dubai. Mm -hmm. We were working with hand hand with Danube properties and we've worked with several developers and partners in the business. KPG is um, a board member of the Association of Real Estate in Uganda. So to be precise, it's a credible entity 
offering premium services. That's what I can assure everybody listening to us today. Okay. All right. So you you are here in uh, in London, yep. and I know you've been to 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 the to America just I think last week. Last week. Oh, yeah. I've been on the third. Uh, obviously, you are you spreading the brand name and 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 trying to get customers. Yeah. What well, what does the customer? What should the customer expect from from KPG? Uh, well, uh, as you stated, uh, this was a strategy that. Uh, we re realized it can help our Ugandans living in the diaspora. In most cases, that most of these people, uh, they work, they get money from wherever they're working and they send it back home, but they don't get what they expect out of their savings. Mm -hmm. So we came up with a strategy to do a run in the diaspora. We were in the US, in Washington DC. We met at the convention in the UK and um, uh, next month we shall be in Stockholm trying to reach our community in the diaspora to ensure that we give them the services. Back to the question, uh, how sure uh, are we that uh, uh, the, the services will be, you know, legable for these people and how are we going to do it? We've set up uh, systems at KPG that will ensure that most of the challenges that Ugandans live in the diaspora have been facing will be no more. Mm. We have come up with uh, one, uh, we have a system, a software, that we shall install once you become partners of KPG in terms of being a client, okay. that you will be able to monitor whatever transactions that take place at mm -hmm. your premises back home on a fingertip. Okay. Wherever tenants come in, wherever there is maintenance, wherever there is payment, everything will be on your fingertip. Okay. Why? Right. So I, I, su I suppose that takes out the aspect of, uh, of fear because a, a, a lot of uh, Ugandans in the diaspora mm. have almost given up investing in, in, in property, in land mm. and, and uh, you know, property because of, of, of the... The fear that has been existing. Yeah. Well, uh, that's why actually we're in the business. Mm. We've identified uh, the challenges and we see as, as an opportunity for us to really uh, do business. Mm -hmm. uh, many people in the diaspora, that's true, have been having stories. We acknowledge the challenges they've been facing, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to you know investing back home. Completely, they believe there is no trust. As stories have been running around from relatives and loved ones, intentionally uh, <coughs> diverting funds meant for you know construction of properties. Mm -hmm. And also suppression of rent incomes that has been, you know, coming out of properties hardly earned from money from the diaspora. Mm. All these have been problems. There have been poor supervision of projects, you know, uh, use of unskilled people, unskilled labor back mm. home. With KPG, we are saying worry no more. We have the expertise, first of all, from land acquisition itself. When you want to buy land, you see, yeah. when you're here and you want to invest money back home, you personal contact that you have in Uganda will be the only person to understand the business for you. Mm. If you are living in Nansana, he will tell you, okay, there is a plot in Nansana. Let's yeah. just buy for it. Mm. If you are living in, uh, in Endeavor, he will know that vicinity. But for us, we go beyond the miles. We shall tell you what kind of real property you are looking at. Mm. If you have already a plot in Nansana and you need really to have uh, an apartment, we shall tell you, no, fine, you can put the apartment there, but returns on investment will be low. It will take you 10 years to get money out of it. Mm. However, if you really try to extend your miles and get a plot in Naria, it will be better for you in terms of return on investment because you'll get the real targeted clients to, to own that process. Then when we already have a property, what do we do with that? We have come up with a strategy that really make sure that the tenants that goes in, they are profiled, they are screened. Yeah. We know that these are people who will stay in the houses and they will pay. We look at property management or real estate investment as business. Most business owners have been uh, using uh, property development as a side relative kind of business. Yeah. They don't put in much effort to ensure how much do they earn, how much do they put in, how much, how, how we can control. Mm -hmm. But with KPG in play, we shall ensure that we tell you how much you earn from your premises on a monthly basis. We do financial reporting. Okay. We shall tell you what is due in terms of market research. If you're here, believe me, Ivan, maybe be having some you know, properties back home. Mm. Five years ago, if you had a tenant who was paying 500000 still today, they will tell you it's still 500 
Yeah. Yes, there is inflation, there is inflation of whatever, and you really need to know the market such how much really is due okay. at so the right time. Are you telling me that if if the the rates go up, KPG will will let Definitely. me know shall tell that the, market the value, value is now yes, different? Yes, these these tenants who have been paying five hundred according to the market research in the location supposed mm. to be one point five. Okay. Five years ago, getting the land in an area was like that. This was one hundred million. Now it is three hundred million. But if you don't, if you're not on the ground, nobody will tell you. Mm. We'll always make sure that they benefit from your your, your investment. Okay. So those are the things that we have come to bridge the gap. Okay. Wow. So for for example, if I have uh, acquired my piece of land yes. somewhere, yes, I, it, it's vacant. I'm here in the diaspora, putting money together. I want to do something on my land. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you, you get into? 100%. We have three faults on how to approach on this. One, you can give us direct. We have a construction arm that can do building, can really put up with fill structures if you like it. Secondly, you can have your personal engineer. But we do the supervisory. Because most of the problem that be, these people have been facing is that they fluctuate the prices. It says, okay, this one will cost this. But you give us your sketch, you give us your plan, and we shall tell you the quotations of how much that house should be without us directly doing the development. But you have the picture of how much that house will cost. Mm -hmm. Then you engage your personal engineer. We can, if it's a big project, we can outsource. We have come up with the partners with uh, key developers in the country that can put up any structure that fits your need. That's how we go about it. Okay. And finally, we do management. We ensure that what you've set up will reap from what you've invested in by making sure that uh, the princess is occupied, there are tenants there, they pay, and you get your money. Right. Mm -hmm. um, do, you, do you handle um, commercial, commercial properties? If, say, somebody had a hotel mm -hmm. or somebody has um, a block... A commercial block, say a row of, of shops. Do you do you also handle I this get, kind of? I get the angle where you come from. When we define real estate, real estate is all about land and what has been developed on it. Mm -hmm. So we manage that. Anything Whatever that is, is developed, depending on the threshold, how much you expect people. Because you may be having land with some properties that is worth a monthly returns, around one hundred thousand. Definitely, mm -hmm. you can not hire a premium property manager to come and hire and, and, and manage. A proper that's yielding hundred thousand, mm -hmm. but anything above one million, we are to play to do business. Okay. All right. All right. Now, um, country, sorry, brand uh, director, brand, brand, uh, brand ambassador. Yes, I'm I, I always I'm say, I always <laughs> say, I don't know why the, the title of country representative comes to me. Yes. But okay. What what questions are you getting mainly from the diasporans? What Based on, f so far, what I've seen, people have mistrust. People don't have trust in such organizations, such, uh, especially within the real estate. Mm -hmm. They don't have trust in people. They don't have trust in businesses which are operating in Uganda in regards to property management. Mm -hmm. They fear about how will I get my money? How will I be paid? How will I know how my property is doing? How will I know who's in my property? How do I know that you're paying me the right amount of money? How, how will I be able to know if something goes wrong on my property? W if something happens, are you going to fix it? Will you mm. fix something without telling me? So those are the kind of questions that people are asking me. And all of these questions can be answered easily. KPG yeah. is very transparent, and so that's uh, one of uh, our core values. How, how do you put uh, these uh, potential clients at, at rest? I mean, Ivan, as, uh, as somebody who's, who, you've been here for quite a long time, you've operated in the Western countries for quite a long time, so you know you can never really have the full trust unless you try out something. Now, what I want, I, I cannot... I cannot. I can sell the product to them. I can sell the service to them. But mm. I want them to try it out. I want them to come, sign up with KPG, c say, okay, I have, I have my proper, my properties. I want, I want to sign up with you, make an agreement with you, and try it. Give it a trial mm. because that's the only way we are going to start developing that trust mm. and remove it as a barrier. Now KPG is very transparent, like uh, my my colleague here, my boss said. 
they give you monthly reports of how your property is doing they they screen tenants they give you all the information about the tenants you you are you you have an agreement you have a tenants agreement that you can view so everything is there everything is there. nothing goes happening without our the landlord or the property owner not knowing okay. now uh, being diasporans one one thing that we are most used to is uh, the customer service yes the customer service in europe and i suppose america is very on point on point and, and very and different your desperate customer is going to expect that when they have a complaint yeah it's going to be dealt with and they expect that uh this can be done 24 7. okay is there um let, let me give an, a, a hypothetical problem say i can't log into my account you said you, you i get an account so i can log in and find out whatever is, is happening but supposing there is a glitch and i can't see my details is did you have a kind of call center or help center where people can call in and and somebody on the other side explains to them exactly what is happening and puts them to rest and assures them that everything is being done for their problem to be resolved uh, yes there is we I have think a I'll, I will share uh, let her first respond i'll share that we have got a, a customer service lines and uh, this this information um, I can't it can be found on our website as well uh, we have got uh, about three lines that we can you can reach us through we have an email address which is very responsive and you also have me myself grace here I will if anything goes wrong I'm always first hand with people up in the spra I'll respond very I'll be very quick into response but we have got a center a call center which people can directly contact them and access the, inf the right information. If you want to make a complaint, we also have a complaint line. So it's very, we want to provide that first class service mm -hmm. that it should be given to, you know, if somebody's investing in something, we want to, for them to get all the, all the best out of what they're investing in, you know? Okay. Yes, but in addition to what Grace has just said, uh, KPG is a well-established entity with centric customer service approach when mm -hmm. it comes to dealing with issues from our clients. We have a 10 to 4, 7 line and uh, a world supply. Just in case uh, you can't log in our account, you can drop uh, uh, a WhatsApp message and you'll be answered straight away. Okay. Uh, on top of that, uh, we have uh, weekly briefs that cover all our tenants, our clients, so that we share with the clients, especially in the diaspora, to know what is happening on the premises. Especially when it comes to maintenance cases, as you say, there are many cases that arise and you know you cannot know exactly when it will come or it will occur. Mm. And real, uh, the landlord needs to make approvals because basically in property management, it's all about maintenance. That's the major inch. You can have the building and the tenants there, but how you maintain that relationship between the landlord, the tenants, and uh, 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 under the edges, it's all about how you manage the maintenance because this is the value addition aspect you give to the client to ensure that you have the person who pays the bills on point. Because mm. if you don't respond to these challenges, definitely they will move away, and you know there will be you know vacancies, and definitely when there are vacancies, there will be no income, both from the agent side and from the point the direct point of the client who is the landlord in this regard. Uh, the other thing is. Uh, uh, when it comes to maintenance, when it comes to management, the argument that we get into with uh, uh, the landlord is that we take over management. Definitely, we have taken over all his stress. We carry all the body. Mm -hmm. So there is no way uh, a client or a tenant will directly contact uh, a landlord over issues raised from the estates. Yeah. They will raise the issues to, to, KPG. The, to KPG. And right. KPG will ensure that it manages these, because that's why we're in business. That's why we are there. That's why we just fire our presence. There is no way you would tell a landlord that you are managing your property and all calls, all hassles is, are going direct to him. Mm. However, uh, there is what we call approval of throttle. If the maintenance or the, 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 the issue that has been raised at, 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 at the particular place requires cash in, KPG will pay, then at the end of the month, we'll invoice. But on the approval of the landlord, that's how we do it. So there is no worry that you will be having issues, then you will be getting calls from Uganda, my properties, ABC. Before they call, before it gets to the landlord, KPG must know. Uh -huh. And if it's within the means, 
you know, we always address the problem right away. Then we communicate. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, Europe or wherever the rest of the world, people are working 24-7. You may call the number is off. That means that the problem will not be solved. Yeah. So we have to ensure that we do, we fix the problems, then we report. That's the way how we do it. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, we, we've said before or earlier that uh, you, you also double in the the land land acquisition yes. uh, sales as well land yes, sales yes 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 now the issue with land nowadays in yes. Uganda is mm -hmm. that there is a lot of uh, fraud. a lot of fraud mm -hmm. in, in 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 short basically because there's other derogatory words used yes, along yes. that uh, when it comes to land issues really this is a very sensitive issue mm. even uh, uh, if you agree with me if you attended yes uh, the other day's co co convention mm. uh, the minister of lands we have she was trying to elaborate how land should be, you know, acquired mm. in Uganda. There's what we call a good title. A good title is the passing of ownership from one partner to another mm. with a registered owner. Yeah. We shall do due diligence to ensure that the property or the land you are trying to enter into is free from any cumbrances. That is, nobody, it, no squatters, and even when it comes to doing the search, we yeah. did the right search and ensure that this land you are getting into has no any encumbrances on it. The caveat, there is no caveat, there is nothing on it. it is, and it is the right person mm. who is registered in, in the lands. They are trying to digitalize the system. Uh, I think in the next few years, everybody will be able to have a digital land title, whereby there will be less fraud if it regards to owning land. However, for now, what we do at KPG, we do advise you on how to get a good title. That is... Mm -hmm. Connecting from the right go, we do the what we call the land uh, locus visit. We visit the land first before you buy. Okay. We see the boundary. We, we get in touch with the local authorities. Mm. Then we go to the Ministry of Land. Then we do our search. Then we give you a go ahead. First of all, that's what we have to do. We don't just okay. There is land here. Do this. No, we do the groundwork and we ensure that the, our client is getting into a right transaction. We have a team of seven lawyers who do the legal gymnastic. If there is anything that you know has raised the purpose of the transaction. You will not be involved, but we ensure that we are going to battle it legally, and you'll get the good title. Okay. Yeah. So uh, back to diaspora. I think sure. we um, most of our concern is that there are people <laughs> in the diaspora. All, all this question is basically the, are, these people have uh, suffered. Yeah. <laughs> the good news we have for mm. people in the diaspora. Mm. You see, uh, when we came into this business, first of all, we are people living in the diaspora first. Mm. We know our challenges and the problems we have. Mm. Most people here, uh, really, they can really devolve, but Sometimes accessing finance is a problem. Uh, we've patterned up with uh, lending institutions when it mm. comes to mortgages. We have Housing Finance Bank and DFCU. Yeah. They're on board. Mm. If you are having status here in Europe, or we'll call it America or wherever, you have status, you have a steady income, and you have a good title back home, and you have a plan that requires funding or financing, mm. we shall do the pre qualification You come to us, we shall look through, we shall verify, and recommend which bank you can get funding and to ensure that you set up your dream house or your dream business in terms of real estate investment. So rest assured, at KPG, you're at the right port. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that because that would be my next question. No. Who, what type of client are you looking for or what are the prerequisites before somebody walks into KPG and says... Um, this is my land, mm. manage it. This is my property, please manage it for me. Mm. What, what, do you, what is that conversation right there? Uh, well, uh, I, for now, I can say everybody is welcome at the KPG. But it depends on what you need. Mm. Because our core is to ensure that we come up with tailored solutions to what really you have on paper. When it comes to land acquisition, we shall advise you. When you have a property, we shall advise you. When you need a construction, we shall advise you. However, there are certain... Uh, terms and conditions of engagement. Mm -hmm. Like, to say, you have a property. It's fetching around maybe one million shilling a month. Yeah. It has no tenants, and you need it really to, to people to get in, and you need to do business. Mm -hmm. Then we shall give you our, our, our mode of operations, and once we agree, definitely we shall get engaged. Okay. Yeah. So there, there is no lower minimum where I say, oh, no, be... A property of this values, so we're sorry, we can't handle it. We, we're starting from uh, this. You see, this is why it depends. You may be having one standalone unit that fetches one million shillings. Mm. Definitely, that one we can take it home. 
but you don't come to, to sorry to use that don't come mm-hmm. you have around five five rentals each is a 70,000 that is around 350 mm-hmm. and you need a property manager that really is below our threshold we cannot we shall advise you to use other means but we cannot engage because you see fuel just come from an office to go to your locality and visit these people mm-hmm. alone it's more than what we shall get as 10 percent okay yeah so we can, it's not it's not a good business mm-hmm. but anything above one million we work on it but are you doing business or are you ready to business all over uganda uh, well, for now the inch is around Kamp- Kampala and its neighborhood. That is the great, the greater Kampala. That's mm-hmm. Mukono, Wakiso, and areas around Kampala. No, However, yeah, if you have, if you have uh, premises outside uh, that region of Greater Kampala, mm. definitely we shall get to know. We have region offices. We can have a representative in that particular. Area. As we are doing here, people yes. have properties in Uganda. They are here, and we are managing. Definitely, there is no way we cannot engage. And remember, the, co- the company is still growing, with the business is growing, and we, we will soon branch out to all these areas. So we don't want to put anybody off thinking that we only cover a certain area and we, are, we, we, we can't cater for other, other areas. We are growing, and mm. we are, the more people that we get, the more it, it, it helps us to grow, the more clients that we receive, the more it encourages us to branch out more to these areas. Mm. So there will be a point where we'll be covering the whole covering of the, Uganda. The whole place, you yeah. know? Because I, f- I think uh, property values have gone up, like, you know, Hoima is growing yeah. because of what, what's happening there. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think Gulu as well. The, there's mm. a lot of. Yeah, the you neighborhood, know. you see now they are constructing the Jinja Express Highway. Mm. Definitely, Jinja, the whole of Jinja will be connected to Kampala. Yeah. Wakiso is already connected to Kampala. Mm. Uh, Wobblins, Ruweru is connected to Kampala. <coughs> the Entebbe is connected with the highway. So there is no way uh, real estate will go down. Okay. The potential so is unrivaled. At this point, let's uh, let's let people know how how they can get in touch with uh, KPG, uh, telephone numbers, website, uh, social media. So we you can find us on uh, on Facebook. Uh, we are KPG Property Managers. You can all, in Uganda. We are based in Intinda. Uh, we are uh, we are based on plot one uh, one seven three two, block two one six. In Intinda, Kalina Bidi, Kampala, Uganda. So we've got three telephone lines. And the first one is plus 256-200-999-944. That's two, plus 256-200-999-944. The second line is plus 256-757. Double two six triple six. I will say that again. Plus two five six seven five seven double two six triple six. And our other line is plus two five six seven eight one zero two six two one six. Ivan, you have to bear with me. I'm saying plus two five six because you know sometimes people need to know the country code. Yes, definitely. so <laughs> I know our Ugandans know our country code, but you know some other people. We, we're trying to reach out to everybody who has to investments in Uganda. I mean, yes. You know, mm. so yeah, and our you can also reach us on our website, which is info at kpg. and also you can send us an email. You can send myself an email. Um, I rather use my personal email because I respond very, I respond very quickly on my email, okay. which is grace underscore kagame at yahoo.com. That's grace underscore kagame at yahoo.com. And Mr. Ibrahim? Uh, my personal email is uh, ibrahim at casepropertygovernance.org. So basically, in, in any queries and questions, just drop us a WhatsApp message, an email uh, on Facebook. We shall be at your disposal to engage you and give you all what you need. Okay, now uh, moving on mm-hmm. to a person that maybe not Ugandan, but somebody with their money, an investor. Yes, investor. Like, like to say yeah. now. Mm. What do you say to them? If they're looking to invest and they've, maybe they've heard about properties, but 
how, how would you entice them or encourage them into, into this line of business? Uh, well, uh, Uganda's economy for now, uh, I think, is, uh, is growing. And uh, when you look at uh, the potential into real estate, really, it's undoubted. You really, there is very great pressure into real estate, especially in property development. Mm -hmm. uh, we encourage uh, investors uh, based in Europe, especially in the UK, to come and you know invest in Uganda. Uh, we have a number of foreign investors that have come up, and you know they are doing well. Uh, areas like condominium regimes have come up. Mm. Uh, commercial sectors and you know residential apartments really you can't go wrong and Uganda is a country as you know welcomes everybody and the taxes and the rest are friendly that you can easily make business okay no. and it's a good good return on well I can say it's, it's a good return because real estate is, is a sector that we can't go wrong uh, based on experience, uh, mm -hmm. if you have a plot that you bought five years ago in areas around Kampala, today it can fetch three times what you bought. And, you know, and when you've not even developed anything on mm -hmm. it. So I believe real estate can't and, go and, wrong. And, and what is your forecast, your opinion on the future? Because we, we, we know that the, the oil thing is going to bring a boom, mm -hmm. like, let's say, in about uh, two or three years. Mm -hmm. uh, where, where do you see the market going? Uh, you see the market real estate market uh, today uh, uh, is, is 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 growing tremendously although people may think that uh, the sector is still at its infancy but it has incredibly registered progress of 5.5 percent mm -hmm. you see when you see uh, rural migration uh, in, in uganda mm -hmm. has increased by 50 percent Many people have left the villages and other places coming to Kampala. And all these people need accommodation. So we feel within the next five years, Uganda's real estate will be on the rise. Definitely, that's no doubt. Okay. So okay. As, uh, as KPG, have you got any, uh, speci specifically for the diasporans, as a way of enticing them, do you have any promotional something running, say, if, if you sign up, within this next two months you're gonna get so such and such percent discount on well on, on uh, fees. before i ask that uh, let me share one simple fact that uh, this is uh, attributed to keith cameron where he says or highlights that you can make a lot of money you spend it all mm -hmm. and the next day you're broke yeah yet you can earn little by little, learn to save and invest. Then you build wealth. KPG is here to really help you build wealth back home through real estate. We are saying make money here in the diaspora because money is here. I've been interacting with a number of people in the community. They make good money. But their fear is how sure are we that when we send money back home, mm -hmm. it will not be diverted. Uh, back to the question honestly speaking if there is anyone who signs within this conversion period that is from 15th of september to 15th october yeah they will get two months free management two months free management, management. get yourself kpg it's, let's say it again for clarity <laughs> i'm saying from the time this conversion period from 15th that was saturday yes that when conversion was in London, yeah, to 15 is next month. Yes, management will be free for two months for any client in the diaspora who signs with the KPG. Yes, shall give you full service from maintenance to reporting to general management, everything the whole package you will get it free of charge. Okay. Yeah. See how great that is. That, that, that sounds very good. So I'm, uh, everyone I'm expecting out there, for you to sign up tonight. Everybody out <laughs> there, we're going to sign up. This is, uh, it, it's, it's unbelievable. It's a, a very good offer. It is. Um, one last thing. Uh, again, you, you said about people being assured that their money is going to be collected and, and transmitted. Mm -hmm. yeah. When the client signs up, mm. what bank 
where, where should they be banking or where are you banking their money are they banking it in uganda or, or are very they banking good. it wherever very they are in the diaspora? Uh, really uh, that is actually the worry because most of the problems that's attributed to property management is all about how do you manage the proceeds how do you manage the money that you get from the tenants mm. uh, you see we, we are a bit different as i said from the very beginning that we're professional and critically innovative in this. We've come up with a strategy that manages funds that comes out from tenants. How? First, from day one when we sign with you, mm. this question is raised. How do you want your money to be paid? Because as we take over management, it means that we have taken over rent collection. Yeah. However, we don't entirely manage the financing. Depends on the approval of the client. Mm -hmm. It's always what you need that we foster most. The first option would be, okay, these are my properties. You've got in the tenant. I want the tenants to pay on my account. What we do is to enforce the tenants to pay. Mm -hmm. Once they pay on your account, we get an invoice that they have paid. Mm -hmm. And we we'll put our record straight. Then at the end of the month, we shall reconcile how many tenants, how yeah. much money was collected. Mm -hmm. Then we invoice you and you pay KP. Okay. It's fees. Mm. The other way around would be KPG will collect the money. We set a date that for me, I need all my money on my account by 15th of mm. the next month. Yeah. So we collect the money. Then we invest. We, 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 we bank that money on a particular date that assured us that you need the money. Because you see, uh, we have tenants and they, are different, they have different means of income. Yeah. You will find one tenant is paid at the end of the month. Yeah. And another one is paid at the beginning of the month. Another one is a businessman who expects to get money mid month. Uh, yeah, as it comes in. As it comes in. Mm. So it is very difficult for uh, some tenants to keep, again, getting bit by bit. That is retail. Then the essence of having a manager on board vanishes. So we say in this regard, that, okay, let's just do the collection, whole summary, lump summary, we put your money on your account. People may if you don't put money on my account, what will happen? Uh, KPG, first of all, in my introduction, I told you, a board member of the Association of Real Estate Agents in Uganda. Mm. The, re the sector is regulated. It has a board that runs all uh, the stake, you know, holders, the oh, players yeah. within real estate. Mm. If you have any query from any property manager, who is registered? Quote me this. Who is registered? Because almost everybody is a property manager. Yes. Even your relative you left your home mm. is managing your property. So he's a manager. Yeah. But he's doing it individually. Yeah. We are talking up we are talking about those who are registered mm -hmm. with the Association of Real Estate. The ministry knows them, they're yeah. incorporated, their transactions are clear, they have addresses. Right. So that is KPG. So if you have any query with any property manager of that caliber, please start from me. I'm a board member of the Association of Real Estate. We shall call that agents on board and we shall address the problem. Before even we go to police, we go before we go to the Minister of Lands or Housing. We shall solve the problem within. However, we don't want to escalate to that level. Mm -hmm. We always mitigate and ensure that our clients get the best services because that's what we promise whenever we are. All right. All right. Um, yes, we're coming to the end of the show. We're very grateful to have had this wonderful journey. It's been a long journey uh, as we've partnered with, uh, with uh, KPG. Uh, but we're glad to, to have been part of this and we, we promise that we'll continue working with KPG. Ivan, before you, we go off, there's one question I received on the convention that I would, would like to address, if yes. you don't mind. Yes, please. Um, a few people asked me, when you say you manage my property, do I have to come with my own tenants? Do I have to have my own tenants ready mm. for you to take on my property? Do I have to... Or do I have to be involved in the process of finding the tenants which are going to be in the property? Yeah. And um, the answer to that is no. We, once you sign the property management agreement, mm. we are KPG. We market your property. We find the right tenants for you, for that property. Like my, uh, Mr. the chairman said here, we screen the tenants, mm. make sure that we have the appropriate tenants which move into the property. Mm. And we also... Um, construct the tenant agreement okay so that is all done that is part of our service and before we forget our service charge is only 10% of the ground rent so 
all of that is all involved in our service as a landlord you don't have to do all of that work we carry out all the work for you okay on that note we have to say goodbye because uh, there's a next show coming up uh, please stay tuned to watch that it's the big talk as every monday here on tgm radio uk in other words uh, this has been the business club with myself ivan hosting ibrahim bogere and grace kagame from kpg please check them out on all their social media and get into the property business it's good for you thanks thank you. so much for being here thank you wazimbe bizimbe byo naye ngole meddo biganyulwamu okugeza obulidwa bapangisa obobolina balwa okusasula katino kankwanjulira kpg company malawe bibyo na chitufu kati emyaka jiweze 10 no musobyo na uganda ekula kulana na mayumba na bizimbe byo mulembe naye nge chitufu wetaga kpg ekufunira bapangisa eba kusololeze no kulabirira bizimbe byo bisigale ku mulembe atenge enkolagana ya kpg ne landlord esoboka chokanga tekalubiriza mupangisa tusangibwa ntinda kali na abiri kuwa mala road block bibiri 10 na mukaga kpg property first the business club on TGM Radio UK.